Here it is, you guys. Got some parts for the Integra. Um, I'm already in the process of tearing it apart and installing these parts, which you guys will see in the next few videos. And we'll start with the K-tuned hoses. I'm replacing all the hoses. I keep feeling like I have a coolant leak because I keep getting air in the system and it keeps uh, getting uh, hot. So I'm replacing everything uh, coolant hoses related. I am deleting the throttle body coolant hoses. Uh, I'm going to get rid of those. I'm not too worried about cold starts. Um, my friend that can do a quick street, uh, street tune on it can uh, fix that. So I'll list all the part numbers in the description. But here are the pre-fit heater hoses from K-Tune because I do still have the heater hoses. Also have the upper and lower radiator hose. This is uh, the full RSX radiator. I'm pretty sure that's what the CSF radiator is based off of. So that is what I went off of and hopefully these are the correct upper and lower radiator hose. Should be. Um, I'm really hoping so. It says K24 swap full RSX radiator. It's just as long as it matches up with the RSX or with the CSF radiator. And I also got the coolant recirculation hose. This is, uh, I'll show you guys in the video where this one goes, but it's that back hose underneath the intake manifold. That's the rubber hose. I went ahead, I'm going to replace that sucker as well. I know the previous hose that was on there was leaking. Uh, like I said, I'm over these leaks, so that's that. Now hopefully this is the correct heater hose delete cap, which I don't think it is, because uh, I was looking for a different one to cap off, which you'll see what I'm talking about in my videos of installing these hoses. Now for the good stuff. The JIC coilovers need uh, a rebuild, so instead of, I emailed JIC, they didn't get back to me, so I went ahead and ordered K-tuned coilovers. K1 K-tuned coilovers, freaking awesome, spanner wrenches, the uh, little allen keys to adjust how hard and soft the coilovers are, the dampening. It comes with, looks like everything, everything's in there. So that is perfect. And this one should be the front coilover. So I have to adjust everything, make sure everything's nice and tight. I'm sure they damp dampened it correctly and have that all right. I just have to adjust the length at the bottom, which I will comparing to the ones that are on there now. And I'm going to raise the car a little bit more than before, just because I have some sweet wheels that will be on the Integra. So stay tuned for those. But another front. Tons, tons of uh, space to go uh, lower, thread it up, to raise your car, thread this bottom down. I'm not going to mess with this guy here, the spring. I'm pretty sure that's set correctly and ready to roll. It's already nice and tight, so I'm not going to mess with that. And the other rear. These are the K1, K2 
coilovers. So, I wish I could afford the K2s. I can't. These guys are going to work just fine. Daily driven Integra, for the most part. So, yeah guys, let's go ahead and uh, slap these on. Huge thanks to Jeff Revline. Uh, I'll post a link in the description to his store. If you use my discount code, if I remember right, it's 10% off when you spend more than $100. The code is RS18. So use the code, get the discount, as I did, and I saved myself a ton of money here. Um, but there it is, guys. Like, subscribe, K-Tune um, parts for the Integra. Let's slap it on. Let's get the Integra back on the road, and let's get some more content on the Integra out. So thanks, guys. Like, su subscribe, and share the video. And hopefully this shows you guys how to install all these parts and the correct parts. Uh, the part numbers will be in the description box. Thank you guys.